Happy day after Thanksgiving. Let's go Black Friday shopping. We are here in the parking lot of the Salvation Army. I'm going to go inside and see what I can flip for a profit. And Green Bay Explorer is going to help me find some items. And she might find some stuff for herself. Or sometimes she does find stuff to flip for profit. We'll see. As I'm panning the shelves, I see this blue box and I recognize it. So let me put it in the cart here and turn it over. And sure enough, it's Otagiri. They made a lot of these lacquer boxes. This one is a jewelry box. It needs a little cleaning. So although I put it in the cart, my daughter is looking them up to see what they go for. And it looks to be about $10 there. And she's trying to find more of them. Uh, but the thrift store wanted, uh, there's one for $20. But the thrift store wanted $5 for it. So I'm going to put that one back. My daughter found this Hershey's Christmas mug. It's a large size, and so she wanted to look those up. And she found a bunch listed, but we could not find any sold. They're listed between nine to sixteen dollars. Let's see how much the thrift store wanted for it. They wanted three ninety nine for the mug. That's good. You never know what you'll find at a thrift store. Check out this. It's a watermelon shark <laughs> serving dish of some sort. I'm not sure what you would put in that. Maybe mixed fruit. They wanted $24.99 for this set. It included the four bowls. How cute is that? I love the colors of the dishes here that was used for this somewhat of a art project where they glue all kinds of random things together. I love checking out teacups for in case I find something special. This one was a made in Japan teacup and saucer. They wanted $3.99 but then I saw there was some sort of mark on the saucer so I decided to put it back on the shelf. Although this gravy boat was $3.99, it really caught my eye. It's definitely vintage. It's a Taylor Smith Taylor. I just loved the design of it and the colors. Here is Green Bee Explorer finding a pitcher. It says pour on it and it's Ray Dunn. Looks like they want $8.99 for it. It did have a modern barcode sticker on it as well. We're going to comp it out and see if we're going to keep it or not. This is a large clear refrigerator box. It's definitely vintage. They wanted $9.99 for it. On the bottom shelf, I saw this vintage platter. I just love the fruit on it and the colors. They wanted $5.99. It's a Franciscan platter. These come in all sizes. This one is the one that is a little bit smaller than the turkey platter. It says hand decorated on the back. Here comes Green Bee Explorer with a U of M lidded jar is to put candy or treats in it's $4.99 and it turned out to be a vintage jar from 1981 mm -hmm. I like looking at the dish sets for in case there is something special they wanted $49.99 for this set and 
It is Royal Dalton Stamandale pattern. It's made in England. Definitely vintage. I really wanted this set, but not for that price. The set of bowls go for between $50 and $60. The plates go for anywhere between $5 to $10 per plate. I would have to sell more than half of this set to get my money back. So even though they are lovely, I'm going to let them stay on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Now I'm trying to see what is on the top shelf. Ooh, look at that. It is so pretty with that seashell. It is a Fitz and Floyd for $3.99. However, it is made in China. It's actually a modern plate. And it doesn't sell for that much. So I'm going to have to put that back as well. This is a lidded heart-shaped candy dish. It's got that cubist pattern on the side. They wanted $6.99 for it. Isn't this adorable? It's a child's rocker. They wanted $25.99 for it. It is just adorable. Look at this adorable little train set. But they wanted $12.99 for it. The butterfly in the background was for $4.99. At $12.99, I'm not even going to touch this, but it is a lovely vintage piece. Let's just see if these are marked. It was $3.99 for two of them. These are really pretty. Just love that floral pattern on it. It's made in Bavaria. They wanted $5.99. In the back here, I found these Anchor Hawking Fire King bowls. I usually keep an eye out for the mugs. And I was going to get these, but believe it or not, the bowls don't sell for that much. Some really nice sushi bowls. And then Green Bay Explorer had looked at this bowl. It is a vintage glass bake, but it did have a chip on it. I just bought a set of eight of these at a different Salvation Army store. These are Precious Moments dolls, and some go for really good money. They wanted $7.99 each for these. Oh, look at this adorable plate with the cat and the goldfish. It's just too cute. They wanted $4.99 for it. These type of collector plates don't go for a lot, so I had to put it back. This bunny on a nest is made by Ellie Smith. There was four of them. They wanted $18.99 for the four bunnies. I would have definitely picked these up if it wasn't so high priced. I would have definitely been filling my cart with more items except for that the prices were just too high. In the background I spied this pottery pitcher. They wanted $4.99 for it, but I didn't recognize that mark at all. My daughter found this giant pear serving dish. It is made in the USA. They wanted $9.99 for it. And see that symbol at the top? That is the symbol for Pennsylvania. And this is false graph. And the vintage false graph was made in Pennsylvania. And it goes for around $20. I'm always on the lookout for turkey items. I'm slowly adding to my collection of turkeys, but not quite this type of item. And then this one was fairly large. They wanted $17.99 for it though. There will be a part two where we hit up another thrift store. 
and then part three will be the haul from both thrift stores.